The American alphabet has 26 letters, but did you know that other languages have different alphabets with completely different letters? As an American, this used to blow my mind. But over my years of language learning, I've become familiar with multiple writing systems from all around the galaxy. And I've noticed that some foreign letters are beautiful, some are ugly, and some are even scary. So, with my expertise, I've decided to share with you guys the top 20 coolest letters in the galaxy. If you disagree with my list, feel free to debate me in the comments, and without further ado, let's begin. Number 20, the Dutch G. The Dutch G makes the ha 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 sound, which is incredibly harsh and jarring to say the least. It's like they're puking, but I love it. It's definitely an acquired taste, so if you listen to Dutch for long enough, this harsh G will start to sound really beautiful. It's pretty much solely responsible for giving Dutch its unique and iconic sound. Goedemorgen. Number 19, the sh and the sh in Russian. I had to put these letters together because they're just so similar. They look like little pitchforks, which is kind of frightening. The one without the tail makes the sh sound, and the one with the little itty bitty tail makes the sh sound. It's extremely difficult for Russian learners to tell the difference between these two letters, and I think they both look really hardcore and sound epic. Number 18, the D in Sinhalese. This letter makes the D sound in Sinhalese, which is a language spoken in mainland Sri Lanka. The only reason this letter made the list is because it looks really, really similar to the sussy imposter from the hit video game series Among Us. Number 17, the Turkish U. Uh. I've never seen anything similar to this letter. It's like a lowercase i but without the dot on top of it, or it's like a lowercase l that got circumcised. It makes the u uh sound, which isn't that special, but it just looks so aesthetically pleasing in the alphabet next to the real i. It also looks so out of place in the middle of Turkish words, and I'm here for it. Number 16, the Polish letter l. This thing makes the W sound, like in the word wooj. How the heck does this thing make a W sound? It's literally an L with a line through it. There's no logical explanation for this other than the following two hypotheses. Either Poland does not exist, or this is all just one sick social experiment. Either way, I like the letter. Number 15, the Enye in Spanish. This letter makes the Nya Nya sound, and it's just a standard N with a unibrow or a caterpillar on top of it. But I think it's cool that they made it a unique letter instead of just calling that thing an accent. A lot of languages have this sound, but Spanish went full Sigma mode by actually giving it a proper letter. Before I continue, I'd like to ask you to take one second to subscribe to the channel. 99.9% .9 of people watching are subscribed, which means that you are the only person who hasn't done it yet. Number 14, the Psi in Greek. Come on, obviously there was gonna be at least one Greek letter on the list. This letter makes the ps 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 sound, which from my knowledge of foreign languages is pretty darn unique. The TS sound like ts ts is pretty common, but ps, it's as rare as a rare Pokemon card. It also looks like a trident, or an eye with wings, or even a really nice seat. Number 13, the R in Portuguese. The R sound is notoriously difficult for people to learn in really any language. The French r r r, Spanish r r, and American r r r are all great examples. But the Portuguese R is bisexual, so in addition to sounding like a normal R, it's also often pronounced like an H, as it is in my favorite word, huim. Hoin. It's such a gorgeous curveball, and I wish that I could personally thank Jair Bolsonaro for this great letter. Number 12, the D in Russian. This crab looking abomination makes the duh 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 sound, which is pretty boring, but as a Native American speaker, it just looks so uncanny and unnatural. I feel like it's gonna eat me, and I kinda hope it does. It's genuinely just scary looking, and I feel like its legs are not big enough to support its huge body. Number 11, these two letters in Japanese. All my life, whenever I saw Japanese writing, these letters have always stuck out to me. They both look like little smiley faces, which could be the only redeeming thing about Japanese. I don't know what sounds they make, and I never want to find out, but I'll just quietly appreciate them from afar. Number 10, the letter K in Berber or Amazigh. This thing looks like a literal umbrella that is leaning to the side, and it makes the k k k k k sound like a K. If anyone knows why they designed it after an umbrella, please let me know, because we all know there is no rain up there in North Africa. The entire Amazigh alphabet, known as Tifanach, looks insane, but this one is by far my favorite letter. Number 9, the German Esset. This uppercase B with a butthole surprisingly makes the S sound in German, which makes no sense since they already have an S in their language. It's pretty cool looking, but it's also large and looks really out of place inside of German words. Do Germans see this thing as normal? I love it, but I just can't believe that there are people who unironically use this big clunky letter on a daily basis. Number 8, the Qaf in Arabic. 
This beautiful letter makes the chicken sound, call. It's so gorgeous and kind of jarring, but in a really good way. It's one of the core sounds that makes Arabic such a beautiful and unique language, and I love it. It's so fun to say, but it's genuinely very challenging to pronounce, especially in some words. Anamin al qahira, al qahira, al qahira, qah, al qahira. Number seven, the character for Byang Byang noodles in Chinese. This complex monstrosity means Byang Byang noodles in Chinese, and it probably takes three hours to write, which is pretty intriguing, earning it a spot on the list. And before you come at me with, <coughs> Language sim, that's a character, not a letter. Chinese doesn't have an alphabet. You are wrong. Chinese does have an alphabet. It's just tens of thousands of letters long, and this is the coolest one out of all of them. Number six, the Danish D. You might be confused and say, language sim, that's just a D. What's so special? But this isn't a hard D, it's a soft D. In Danish, it makes the sound, like in or in the word vel, which means what. People often say Danish sounds like Swedish spoken with a potato in your mouth, but when you realize that it's just the soft D causing that muffled sound, you'll really start to appreciate its linguistic excellency. Number five, the thorn in Icelandic and Old American. You know how in American we write TH to denote the th th sound? Well, this letter used to make the th sound before the cringe French came along and made us change it. Thankfully, it's still used in Icelandic, but I really wish we could bring it back to American. It's like a more gigachad rendition of a P, and it would save us so much time writing. I say that we should all start using Thorn again as a community and try to make it popular. Number four, if you're afraid of holes, look away. The multi-ocular O in Old Church Slavonic. This is the most alien looking thing I have ever seen used as a letter. This letter replaced the O in the Cyrillic alphabet in only one documented case in the 1400s. But come on, this thing has 10 eyes, that's sick. Imagine how cool it would be if we replaced the American O with the multi-ocular O. Number three, the soft sign in Russian. This letter is called the Mjekiznak and it makes the sound. It modifies and softens the sound of the letter that comes before it. I love it because it looks just like a lowercase b in most other languages, but instead it's just completely silent and very, very confusing for Russian learners. The word mjekiznak is also absurd itself, and when said in the instrumental case, it changes to smjekomznakom, 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 which sounds goofy as heck. Number two, the ein in Arabic. If you watch my videos, you know what I think about Arabic. It is one of the most beautiful languages, if not the most beautiful language on the planet. And the Ain is the most beautiful sound in Arabic by far. It makes the Ain sound and it's just so freaking hardcore. It sounds so unique and badass, especially when people from Saudi Arabia say it. It sounds amazing, whispered, said normally, and sung. And I hope that one day I can pronounce it just like the Arabs. Afwan, El Arabi, Arab. And the number one letter in the entire galaxy is... The ooy in Russian. Oh, if I could marry and reproduce with the ooy, I literally would tonight. This is the most badass sounding letter on the planet and it's super freaking Sigma. It's literally two letters put together and they claim that it's one. It's the number one reason Russian sounds so cool and it feels so satisfying to pronounce. E, 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 a sports. It's in the ain.